Hello guys, what is up? My name is 100 Black and White, and welcome to another Legit Survival episode where we try to defeat the Ender Dragon, complete most of the achievements in Minecraft, and defeat the Wither. So last time, oh wait, if you guys want to play Minecraft with me or just talk about whatever, um, I say will be in the description down below. You can add me to add you, and then we can do Minecraft for talk about stuff. But if you don't want to do this in a month's time that I've added you, I will remove you from my Skype context. Now, today, last time, guys, we gathered materials to build this Nether portal that you see right in front of us. And today, we're gonna go into the Nether, and the topic that we're gonna talk about is gonna be pretty personal. All I ask of you guys is to not take anything too personal to yourselves. This is all just what I want to say. And also, if for any questions that I ask in this video, I I would really appreciate if you guys to comment down below your guys' answer to these questions. So without any further ado, we're just gonna go in the nether. We're gonna spend some time in there, try to get stuff and whatnot. And that will be it. So we have the achievement into the nether. First time in the nether for this entire series. Let's see. Oh, we need to go deeper. Oh, that's achievement. Okay, so first off, we are on a ledge right here. I'm just gonna put down the coordinates for this portal real fast. And we're at um, negative 11x. And we are at 10z. This is another portal. Alright. So. If you guys haven't seen before in a legit survival um, episode to the second to last before legit survival series episode, there was a discussion that was happening between me and another person. I will keep the um, identity of this person secret so no one knows who it is. But I had a discussion with this person, and I was pretty, I had some mixed feelings about what this person was saying, and what this person was talking about, and what this topic, and what this topic that I'm going to talk to you guys about is responsibility. Now, for those of you who don't know, responsibility, according to the Merriam-Webster Dictionary, the short definition of responsibility is one, the state of being the person who caused something to happen. Two, a duty or task that you are required or expected to do. And three, something that you should do because it is morally right, legally required, etc. And it's straight from the Merriam Webster dictionary I looked it up online just for this episode. Now, let me ask you this before. I get into this whole topic. What is your definition of responsibility? And before I tell you what mine is, it's more than likely going to be different because we as people have different definitions of things because we have experienced different we have experienced different lives. We have we have seen and experience different things. I don't really like to use the word things a lot, but I will use it just for the sake of me not dwelling too much on this subject. So my definition of responsibility before I was thinking about all of this was responsibility is doing something that you are told and willing to accept the consequences for what you haven't done. But the person who I was talking to's definition of responsibility is doing what you're told when you're being told. Now it's not. It might not, it might seem the same, but in actuality they're both different. Yes, they both have. Yes, they both have the same. The same um, details as. We, you both have to do what you were told to do, but unlike my definition, the other person's definition was strictly was restricted to a time being being when you're told to do it. So, for example, let's say you were told to wash the dishes. 
the responsible person in the other person's definition would stand up, stop everything that they were doing, and wash the dishes. If not, this person would be deemed as irresponsible. Now, in my definition, I don't have a time frame. As long as you get whatever you were told done, you are still responsible. You got what you were supposed to do done, and that is it. You got it done, and if you don't do it, then you have to accept the consequences. So, for my definition, let's say again, you have you were told to wash the dishes. Now, you don't have to immediately, you don't have to immediately go up, stand up, and stop everything you're doing and wash the dishes. As long as you finish, get as long as you wash the dishes sometime, then you're responsible because you did what you were told. Now, if you choose not to wash the dishes, like let's say in the other person's example, if you choose not to wash the dishes, and when you were told, you have to accept the consequences of having dirty dishes, having the sink all filled up and dealing with insects that might and dealing with insects that will probably be infesting your home so you see where those two differences definitions of the word responsibility were really similar but they were they still had their differences well that's the thing that i have about this subject for those of you who don't know i am technically a legal adult where I am. I reach the age where I am legally an adult, but I'm not an adult because, as I've learned, responsibility and maturity go hand in hand. If you're not responsible, if you're not responsible, then you're not mature and you're not an adult. But then, if if you have to be responsible to be an adult then what's the point, not what's the point, but if you have to be responsible to be, to learn mature, to gain maturity to become an adult, then how do we know when we truly become an adult? See, with all of the, see with, even between two people being me and this other person, since we have both different definitions, how do we determine whether someone's an adult or not? And that's what I've been thinking. It may be, it may be to, I mean, let me try to figure out the words I'm trying to say. This is a very difficult thing to determine because everyone being different people, having experienced different things, have different ideals and motives to determine a what responsibility means to them and b b what determines when someone is responsible when someone is mature so that's a very difficult thing and no matter how no matter whether your definition of responsibility is the same as another person's they're actually different Unless everyone in the entire world has the same definition of responsibility, these arguments will come up because if maturity is based on responsibility and responsibility is different throughout many people, then it's you can't really you can't define you can't define what of an adult or responsibility is. Because of the fact that we don't we don't see eye to eye, so we so it's so we never know if someone is really an adult or not. So So we try and try and try to meet to meet the standards that people set for us, but
but how do we know that they're right? How do we know that their definition of responsibility is what we should actually go by and not our own? Now, I know my words may seem like they've been, they don't make sense and they don't really go together, but, but still try and listen. So this isn't the first time that I've been talked to about responsibility. Even by this person, this isn't the first time. Which is why whenever we have these conversations, I always ask this, I asked this person one time, who, what, who told you what, what is response? First off, I asked that this person, what is responsibility? And they, re and then this person replied with the answer I already gave you. Then I asked, who said that that was the definition for responsibility? And then this person said, I don't know. You see, that's the thing here. These human concepts, that's what I'm going to call these things. These human concepts like responsibility, no one really knows where they were defined or who defined it even. And we just assume that, we just assume that, we just assume that from what society is built on and what we learn that our definition of responsibility is the one and only definition of responsibility. Now, yes, I know that you might be commenting right now that, oh, I don't believe that and that's not true. I'm actually very accepting of other people's opinions on subjects like these. But let me ask you this. In the end, when you have to make a decision, you look on your own morals and your own values. Where, where yes, you may hear someone's opinion and you may listen to what they have to say, but in the end, it's your choice. You're basing it not only on the information that they've given you, but you're basic, but you're also choosing based on what you know yourself, what you believe. So with different people having with different people having standpoints about this with different people having different standpoints about this we we can never really reach a true definition of what an adult means because we don't know because we cannot define responsibility which means we cannot truly define maturity which means we cannot figure out which means we cannot figure out what an adult really is and let me just say this are we all really, is maturity really what makes an adult? Yes, maturity is a large part of being an adult, knowing when to make tough decisions that they, according to what I, my definition of maturity is, making the right decisions, even if you're sacrificing something that you want to do or something that you love, making the right decision but that's where another thing comes in all of these subjects of human concepts are all based on are all based on one perspective they're based on what you think of the word because the word right may have a textbook dictionary that a dictionary definition that is clearly written by someone who defined the word long ago, whoever this person may be, and also responsibility. There is a textbook definition of the word. But yet, we choose to make our own definitions of the word. We choose what, what we think of the word right when it comes to mind, when we hear the word right, when we hear the word responsibility, when we hear the word maturity and adult, we choose, 
we all have different aspects that we pull out and we and that has to be there in order for these in order for these words to make sense because my definition of right or responsibility is going to be different from another person's right definition of right and responsibility so it makes me wonder why is it that we have such big debates about responsibility and being an adult because in all honesty yes adults ad adults people who have maturity in, in I'm, all the human concepts i hope I don't, i'm not going to use air quotes for all of them and i'm going to use but like just imagine i'm doing this for all of them but all of the adults who have maturity who who think they know what they're doing actually are just kids we're all just children in a heart and in mind because even though we have learned even though adults may have learned so much over their long life over their long life they still don't know everything and even though you do reach that age of maturity, even though you may think you know what you're doing, and I'm not just speaking out of adults, I'm speaking for myself, I'm, I'm not speaking for them, but I'm talking about them, talking about people my age, talking about teenagers like myself who think they know what they're doing. Everyone thinks they know what they're doing, but in all honesty, they don't. They're just playing by, they're just playing by random. They're, they're trying stuff out. They're trying to figure out what to do and, well not random, random is not a good word. They're trying to figure it out a step at a time. Trying one thing after another, seeing if it works and And just testing themselves, not testing themselves, but just testing to see how well something does, if it's worth doing again, if it's effective, because we're all still learning. No matter how old you are, no matter how young you are, no matter whether you did this or that, we're all learning. And doesn't that make us all and even if you have maturity and you have responsibility, you're still you're still learning. You're still learning. Yes, you may have more responsibility than all of us, but we're all people. We're all the same pe we're all people. We're all human beings. We're all we're all learning together. And isn't that the biggest responsibility of all? Looking, being able, in my, in all my honesty, the biggest responsibility, the thing that we should be required to do when we're told the, and we, and we, So I'm, so I forgot the exact definitions of responsibility for a second. We all have a cause for something to happen. We all have a duty or a task. And we all have, and and we all have something to do that is morally right. And that thing is being able to open yourself up and take the opinions of other people, not only just sometimes, not only when you think you're wrong or you need someone's help, it's all the time. Because we're all learning. We all, that is the right thing to do in my mind opening yourself up, listening to everyone's opinion, learning more as not an adult, but as a human being. Because no matter how old you are, no matter whether you are young, no matter whether you are old, 
We're all learning. And whether you think I'm right or not, it, it's true. You don't know everything. You don't know all the answers to questions. Because if we did, if you did, we wouldn't be human. We would just be robots. We would be soulless beings who knew all the information of the world and not experience it for ourselves. Not learning what, not learning from all of this. Not learning how to fix a tire when it gets flatted on the road. Not learning how to administer first aid when someone gets hurt. Not learning the difference between right and left. Not learning the difference between up and down. Not learning the difference between cold and hot. Not knowing how to cook. Not knowing how to swim. All of these things are responsibilities. And we all have an endless amount of them. Because the responsibility that will never get done in our entire lives. Unless we choose to do it our, unless we choose to do it ourselves all the time. Is listening to other people's opinions and accepting them. Because you could be the person, you could be a person who listens to a person and hears what he or she has to say. But if you don't accept what they're saying, if you decide to go with your own pathway instead of trying out theirs, then you're not becoming mature. You're not doing the right thing you're not becoming an adult and we're not there's no such thing as an adult in my mind we're all just people we're all just human beings to me adult is a label put on by our society as someone who knows a lot of information but in all honesty, aren't we all adults? We all have responsibilities. We all have we all have a sense of maturity. It's just the different levels of it that make the difference. And you know, personally, I I've been prolonging this episode for this long because it is a very deep subject that I don't even know a lot of you will get because I always ramble off and my words don't make sense and they might not even make sense right now but the if you had to take anything from this discussion but not this discussion but anything from my talk about responsibility about maturity about being an adult it's you are, we are all responsible, we all are mature, we're all adults, no matter what anyone tells you, you're an adult, because we all are, we all have responsibility, we all have maturity, we all are growing and learning, and honestly, the only thing that adults have against you is age what if you if you're gonna tell me that adults are more mature than you if adults have more responsibility than you that may be true that may be true in a physical standpoint where adults have more jobs and and taxes and bills they have to pay and And children they have to take care of and chores and errands they have to do and a job that they have to do but we we have just as much responsibilities though it may not seem it though you may look at me you may watch this video and you may think that I'm crazy and I have no idea what I'm talking about but it's true we we have responsibilities too, and 
it may not be as it may not be as as much number wise as you as adults do but it's still it's still difficult it still it still puts a burden on us and to call it to call us something different just because we don't have we supposedly don't have a adult have to me that's just wrong because we're all the same we're all just people we're all just we're all people living on this planet learning every day something new experiencing life as we want to trying to do our responsibilities and just remember no matter what anyone tells you no matter whether they say you're an adult or not you are an adult you are responsible you are a mature person and if anyone tells you otherwise just just think of everything you've done and if you can honestly if you can honestly say if you can honestly think to yourself and tell yourself about about something that you have to do that you have to choose between right and wrong where you felt that you had to do it even though it may not seem like it to other people you are responsible you are mature and you are an adult and with that guys I know a lot of it was rambling like I usually do and it might and the words I might have said might not have made sense and I know I said this already but just remember we're all people we're all learning every day so why should we differentiate each other like this or at all so remember guys if you want to play Minecraft with me or talk about whatever it is you want to, my Skype will be in the description down below. You can add me and on, I will add you, and then we can do Minecraft or talk about stuff. But in a month's time that I have added you, if you don't want to do these things anymore, I will be moving from my Skype contact. Now, next episode, it might not, the topic may not be as deep it is, as this, it may be. I don't know, I'm a very thought provoking person. I think a lot. And I don't know, we'll just see. But in the next episode, um we kinda have some achievements we still have to do. We still have this rare one. We can't get the enchanter one until actually we can't get the enchanter one. We have five diamonds left over. But I don't know if I wanna use those yet. I might. I might. I'm thinking about it. We can try and find the Nether Fortress. Uh, we can try to go for this Sniper Duel. But, guys, with that being said, thank you all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And until next time, guys, goodbye.